Hi everyone. So um, I was recently encouraged by uh, by Adamu to share more of my personal journey and um, to start speaking more from my heart. And um, a subject has come up that's very much a matter of my heart. And I've decided instead of writing uh, dry words about it, that I would rather speak um, from my heart about it. And the subject is uh, that of twin flames. Um, there's so much out there about twin flames that seems to be uh, confused or misunderstood. You know, is this just a, a romantic phenomenon? If you really fall in love with somebody, is that your twin flame, uh, you know, of necessity? Or what's actually going on here? And uh, uh, since, since I have uh, met my twin flame and um, uh, very much also fallen in love with her, it's a, a subject that's quite top of mind for me. So today, really, all I want to do is uh, just set the, the, the groundwork. What is a twin flame and how does it happen? Now, I'm sure there are other variations on this theme uh, other than my experience. So I can only talk about it from my experience. Um, and, and the first thing I want to share with you is it's, it's a, a spiritual phenomenon. It has to do with the structure of your soul. It's not uh, like... Um, like soul mates are a contract uh, outside of incarnation two souls meet they agree to do something inside of this incarnation together so they uh, contract to do that they are soul mates for that incarnation twin flames is something different than that and um, the way it was explained to me uh, was was using a metaphor and and the metaphor was imagine a a, a soul monad so this would be a complete whole spiritual entity, a very much uh, a part of God, very much one with the oneness, but still self-contained spirit entity, a monad. This monad uh, decides to enter our separation reality. Um, planet Earth, the whole universe is just somewhere deep inside separation reality. Separation reality is massive. And it's composed of layers of density. Now, there's an article on my website about densities. If you don't know what the densities are, it's really quite interesting, really quite informative. I do suggest you have a look at the URL on screen. Go and find out about densities. It's interesting. Um, there are eight densities to our reality. So this monad approaches this uh, separation reality. As it strikes the first, the eighth rather, the outermost, the eighth density, the, the highest density, there's the possibility that it might fragment. In the case of my soul monad, it fragmented 12 times. So there are now 12 beings which have um, encountered the first layer of forgetting, because that's what these densities are. They're, 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 they're forgetting and they're separating from God. So, 12 fragments uh, are now in the 8th density. Of those 12 fragments, many penetrate another layer down to the 7th density. Each time you penetrate, there's the possibility of fragmentation. You won't necessarily, but you may. So, some penetrate deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Two of those fragments got right the way down to the 3rd density, which is... Our world, our universe, is in the third density. It's a, a place of deep forgetting, characterized by souls that come here have absolutely forgotten the, that they are connected to the divine. They've forgotten absolutely that there's anything godlike within them. They're not creator beings. They're, they're little victims. They're separate from God. They are um, mortal, sad, lost little creatures, which is how we are all born into this world which is also explains why the world is as, as crazy as it is, why we have forgotten as deeply as we have, because we're all third density creatures down here, but be that as it may. Two components, two parts of the twelve got to the third density in the case of my, um, my soul monad. Now these two parts incarnate, uh, and, and, and they will have as many incarnations as they need to have, live as many lives as they need to live, and, and if 
those two souls meet in incarnation. Then you have the twin flame experience. You have two beings that feel like they're completely separate from each other, two whole separate incarnated beings um, encountering each other and knowing that something very special has just happened when they meet. Um, they might not know what it is that's happened. They might not know why they feel as profoundly attracted to each other as they do. They might not understand why they really uh, bring to the surface for each other. They bring to the surface all of their blockages and their hurts and their pains to be processed. They might not understand any of these things, why it's happening, what's happening. And so in the early part of incarnation, if in other words, uh, in your first or fifth incarnation, if early on you run into each other, you have a lot of pain that comes to the surface. These twin flame in interactions can be really difficult. They can be experienced, in fact, as quite toxic, quite troubling. Um, these twin flames might meet each other and, and, and think something like, I have a, a fatal attraction to this other person and they're terribly bad news for me. Could be, even. Um, because what's actually happening when twin flames meet is they trigger a, a returning to the oneness. They trigger a, 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 um, an awakening in each other. But if between the oneness and your awakening and you is a whole lot of pain, then that pain comes to the surface first. So you, twin flames are very powerfully each other's um, karmic mirror. You see all of your stuff in each other. And, and twin flames are also very prone to projecting their own stuff on each other. Whatever's hurting inside of me, I make it about her or you know, whatever the other person's gender might be. Um, I make it about them and I project it on them. So it's not universally a super romantic, wonderful, ecstatic experience. However, as you travel through incarnation, you do get to a place where you decide it's now time to awaken, it's time to heal, it's time to transition. And you might then have a few more lifetimes and then you will get to your proper ascending lifetime. The lifetime in which you reintegrate all the lost parts of your soul. The lifetime in which you really heal yourself. And you do lots of self-work in that lifetime. Um, if somewhere along the line, if you get to the place where you are quite substantially self-healed and you then meet your twin flame or meet them again, uh, then there really is the possibility for a truly spectacular, a, a, a life-alteringly wonderful, uh, soul-deep interaction that is also potentially very romantic, very loving. Now, I don't want to make the mistake and, and, and characterize all twin flame interactions as romantic. It doesn't necessarily have to be. I, I know of, well, at least one other twin flame pairing. They're both married to somebody else and they're both very happy with that. They know each other, they love each other, they're in contact with each other, but it's, they've chosen not to have it be a romantic interaction. Um, in my particular case, um, I have, I think, quite an interesting story to tell about how I met my twin flame, um, the journey we traveled before we discovered that we were each other's twin flame, the journey of, of getting to this place of acceptance that maybe this is even true for us, um, and, 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 and how it has impacted each of us, how it has caused phenomenal growth, and, and how it has really been blissfully romantic too. Um, I'd like to talk about that. And I'd then like to talk about um, uh, uh, my soul journey with my twin flame. So not just this incarnation, but how we have met each other lifetime after lifetime. I'd like to share a little bit of that story. So that's going to be in, in following uh, vlogs, in following video vlogs. Um, for now, I really just wanted to speak about the concept that, that it is a meeting in a manner of speaking between two incarnations that, that share a monad, that share, uh, from the greatest perspective, that share a soul. So that's what's going on. 
and um, that it is a truly transformatory experience, not always joyfully transformatory, depending on where you are in your journey. Um, if you'd like more information, if, you, if there are specific questions you have, if you have things that you want to ask, please go ahead and put them in the comments box below. Um, otherwise, sign up for my, my free newsletter and I will obviously then update you. I'll let you know when uh, following uh, videos are released um, on anything, but including, of course, on the subject of the Twin Flame. So until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.